For God's sake, put it down. I've been trying to think of what I could say to make you let me go. I couldn't think of anything, so this just made sense. It's all just got a bit of van, that's all. I always think things through really thoroughly. It's what you do when you're alone. Every possibility. The worst thing that could happen. I hate it all. Why? Because I don't see any way you can ever let me go. So if you come any closer, I no. swear. No, no, no. I just want to talk to you properly. I want to make you see sense before. You do something to hurt someone you really care about. Think about what it'll do to Matthew. The rumours, the suspicion. It could destroy his entire life. You're keeping me prisoner. Even if I promise to never tell anyone about what happened here today, you're not going to believe me. You're going to think I'm going to go running to the police the moment you let me go. I'm right, aren't I? I think we'll be back soon. Just want to make sure you're not going to make a nuisance of yourself. I really am sorry. We're reasonable people. We can sort this. We've just gotten ourselves through no fault of our own into an unreasonable situation. We just need to take a step back from this whole stupid business. It wasn't Matthews. It's all on the USB. You have to believe me. I have a Zoom call. At 9am tomorrow morning for work. It's the first time people are going to notice I'm missing. They'll look for me. When they do, they'll find this house listed as my last appointment. I cut myself. There's blood in every corner of this room. And I peed too. Everywhere. If anyone comes looking for me, they're going to find me all over this place. So, if you think about it, you're as trapped as I am now. I'm not stupid. I know you think you're the one in control. But you're not. You won't get away with it. Won't I?